Kolduny or Kolduny Belarusian, Kolduny Polish, Kolduny, Lithuanian, Koldunai, used in plural only are stuffed dumplings made of unleavened dough in Belarusian, Lithuanian, and Polish cuisines, akin to the Polish pierogi, Russian pelmeni and the Ukrainian vareniki. In Slavic languages the word means magicians or sorcerers, but it is unclear how the word became associated with the dish. The origin of kolduny is uncertain, they may have originated with equal likelihood in the west Germany or, Czech lands or in the east brought by the Tatar Mongols across Siberia and the Urals. Description Kolduny, dumplings of unleavened dough filled with meat, mushrooms, or other stuffings, are related to similar dishes in the West and in the East alike, from Italian ravioli, Hungarian dorelli, and Ashkenazi Jewish pyrogen to Russian pelmeni and Central Asian monti or chuchavara. Kolduny made with a stuffing of smoked ham and mushrooms Kolduny Count Tishkovich, named after a Belarusian noble family from Lahoysk near Minsk were long considered Belarus's visiting card, although decades of Soviet rule almost erased their trace from public memory and now they are only served in a few local restaurants. Currently the Russian pelmeni and the Ukrainian vareniki are served in more restaurants. The simplest dough for Kolduny is made of flour mixed with tepid water, eggs, and some salt. In some recipes the dough for kaldani is mixed with onion juice, not water. Kaldani dough should be soft but elastic, easy to stretch and to seal into a pocket around a dollop of filling. Like other pastry doughs it has to be allowed to rest, covered with a dish towel or a cloth so as not to dry out. Kaldani are usually boiled in a big shallow casserole at low heat, in well salted water. Instead of boiling in water, kaldani may be boiled directly in a soup, in which they are then served. Some varieties are baked or fried. Kaldani polzi style, with a stuffing of boiled river fish and hard-boiled eggs, are fried. A variety known in Russian cuisine is kundumi Russian, kundumi is never boiled, the mushroom-filled dumplings are baked in a crock pot in the oven or fried. Kaldani may be served as a main course or a dessert, depending on the stuffing. For the former, meat, mushrooms, farmer cheese, or fish is used, for the latter, fresh berries or sometimes dried fruits may be used. The sauce or topping for kaldani also depends on the stuffing. Kaldani with Vilnius stuffing mushrooms and smoked pork, as in kaldani Count Tishkovich are topped with melted butter, while the Russian stuffing farmer cheese or mashed potatoes requires thick sour cream. Dessert kaldani are powdered with cinnamon or topped with fruit syrups. Kaldani are often served in a soup beef broth or borscht, similarly to Jewish kreplok. The numerous combinations of dough, stuffing, and sauce provide a great potential for variation. Large kaldani monti are prepared for the major Muslim feasts, which are celebrated by the Tatar population that has lived continuously in Belarus since the end of the 14th century. This variety of kaldani are made with spiced mutton or veal stuffing and are eaten by spoon, so that the dough wrapping doesn't tear and the juice from inside is not lost. Varieties of kaldani Kaldani come with a variety of fillings. Meat ground or chopped. Mushrooms fresh or dried. Mushrooms and smoked pork mixed in equal proportions. Vilnius stuffing, kaldani Count Tishkovich. White rice and hard boiled eggs. Sautéed sauerkraut with mushrooms. Fish freshwater fish such as pike or pike perch, boned and chopped mixed with hard boiled or fried eggs. Bilberry whole. Cherry stoned. See also Coltanasi, a Romanian kind of dumplings. <laughs>